Hey, I'm Brian. Um, welcome to episode four of Make Comic Savvy. I'm going to try and get this kind of squeezed in because I got to go pick up my daughter here in about 30 minutes or so. So, um, what I'd like to talk about today is something a little bit different, and maybe you haven't uh, really heard of it being talked about in the context of comics, but it's character acting. Uh, this is something that I've been paying a lot more attention to in recent years, trying to uh, learn how to be more naturalistic in in uh, making my my basically my lines on paper feel like real human beings. Which is um, given that this is a, a storytelling medium by nature, that's really the gist of what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to just draw pretty pictures. I'm trying to make it feel like what you're looking at is indeed real people or real aliens or real buildings or whatever. So, um, in order to to bring a quality of, of realism or maybe maybe realism isn't the right word, but to, to make the, the drawings feel natural um, and not make you feel like you're looking at drawings, I, I've been taking a lot more time in the last year, two years, whatever it's been, to focus on the character acting. Um, the first thing that I do is, in my sketchbook, which I think is a super important step, um, that I used to really just try and avoid, and 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 because I felt like it was wasting energy, is I spent a lot of time doing thumbnails. Um, excuse me. Uh, there are a a tremendous amount of, of problem solving being there's a tremendous amount of problem solving being done at the this stage um, a lot of times what I'll do is like here I worked out the the um, the layout for the entire page and then I went back and started figuring out basic panel layouts um, really what I start with is things like this the the characters balance the the way that they're moving how like in this case especially how the two characters are inter interacting with each other um the backstory is is that this is the remedy and this is Henri, and the remedy has a bit of a secret crush on Henri. so you know there's a sort of i was really going for a, a kind of um a more sexual tension between the two it's it's a one-way crush it's it's definitely unrequited um, so it, I played with that um, in this in the subtext of this scene especially to try and give the characters uh, that quality of flirtation without really talking about it to give a sense of mood here's the actual pencil page and what I was doing is Basically, this is her walking through the crowd, being very uncomfortable, very very nervous. Here she's talking to the reporter, and the camera's right in her face. I was really in those panels trying to get a sense of un of discomfort, of awkwardness, of um, you know, this is not the remedy's element. She's totally an introvert. She doesn't like doing this sort of a situation. And then in this panel. We have the introduction of Henri. That's the first appearance of him in the book, so I really need, felt like I needed to, to uh, one, give the the reader something to latch on to visually, making sure that they understand who he is, what he looks like, um, those sorts of things, which if you look in my thumbnails, let's see, I guess this one, and then some of these were, were uh, my attempts at that. Now, well, this one here as well, which is pulled way back. Um, when I got to the actual page, I decided that that wasn't going to be as effective as I thought it would be, which that happens a lot, you know. Th this, is, this is the foundation I start from, and then once I get to this stage and start working on my layouts, I really fine-tune it and sometimes scrap entire ideas. And it's all in the, in the spirit of doing the best possible thing to the story, for the story. So, you know, from here, I, I got what I was looking for mood-wise in these two panels. I established... Uh, <clears throat> Henri as a character, and then from here I was re-establishing the mood and some of the other aspects, and then creating a bit of tension in this panel with, uh, which was established. This is page seven. Established some of the uh, previous plot points in earlier pages, so that all ties back together at at this point and on the next couple pages. But 
breaking it down as far as character acting specifically, there's um, a few things that go into it. One is character balance. Like I said here, um, you can kind of see how I squiggled around the lines on her leg trying to figure out exactly what, uh, how I wanted to put that, that leg that she's not resting her weight on. You know, if I tilt the knee in, it gives it one feeling. If I tilt the knee out, it gives it another feeling. You know, opening her hips a little bit towards the character. Um, just very, very subtle stuff that I think about uh, to, to try and establish these tones and this mood uh, in a way that even if you're, if you're not being told as the reader, you know, the, that um, you pick up on just, you know, just through your own tendencies of, of interacting with other people, sort of a, I guess, an empathy, if you will. So again, that was the same thing with establishing proximity there. Um, these two characters, were tr I was going for a mood of, of, of discomfort, so I was establishing a bit of a distance. And again, I think I, I reinforced it even further here. So with his arm straight out and sort of a barrier and an accusatory look to it. So. These are all things that I really put into, into the, uh, the ideas here. It looks like my battery's dying, so I'm going to wrap this up. Um, so, you know, I think this is something that doesn't necessarily get dealt with terribly often in a lot of the how-tos. Um, it's something that I think about a lot, even more so than the rendering portion. So, um, hopefully that's interesting. Uh, hopefully that will help you out in your own drawings. Uh, in your storytelling especially, because this is going to be applied to like pinups and sketches and all sorts of stuff. Um, give me feedback on this if you think it's cool, if it's not, whatever. Um, you know, you leave comments. Um, I appreciate the subscriptions I've already got. If you haven't done so, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, give this video a like. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Um, and of course, comments are always accepted and appreciated. Uh, thanks for watching.